What about um, history? I mean, obviously, you have a passion and an interest in the history of art, the history of Scottish art in particular. We'll be talking about a book that you recently published about uh, art in Scotland and the history of art in Scotland. Do you feel the influence of history uh, or the history of arts in, in your own work? Yeah, very much. I mean, I am, I mean, a traditional painter in that what I paint is really vested in the traditions uh, and the history of art. When I look to my bookshelves, I will automatically reach for books of images by uh, Rembrandt or Velasquez or Manny. Uh, these are the kinds of artists who deeply, deeply influence me every day. Uh, and I am I'm less sensitive to uh, uh, the work that we are more familiar with from the latter half of the 20th century and contemporary art. Uh, I live in the past and some people might look at my work and think it looks a bit old fashioned too. Uh, 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 spend my time creating. Um, but I, I'm very comfortable uh, with the, 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 the work that I produce. I'm very comfortable in the approach I have to, to, to my uh, easel. And I, I, I rely very heavily upon my knowledge of art history and upon my ability to kind of learn from great artists from in the past. Um, I, I really do believe that some of the most important lessons uh, an aspiring artist can take are simply by looking, as I did when I was a child, at the original paintings or even at the reproductions of paintings by um, you know, seminal artists from history, from you know, Giotto to, to, to Velasquez. Uh, uh, these are my teachers. And, uh, and um, I, 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 by studying and copying their work, uh, you get a real insight into the, uh, you know, the limitations of your own ability and, and what you, you know, the little techniques, the secrets, the, the tricks you can, you can uh, uh, dig out of the work of other painters.